Hey there guys, how's it going? This is Rex Roo here, and welcome back to yet another gaming tutorial, and today what we're going to be doing is going over some double jumping, some triple jumping, some quadruple jumping, and pretty much however many jumping jumps you guys want to go ahead and have. Um, I'm going to show you how to easily implement that into your game maker games and uh, the like. So, unless this is a little example of the end result of this tutorial, and we have this cute little character here that I took the liberty of drawing out for this tutorial especially, and uh, what we can do is, uh, all we can do is we press up, uh, we can jump. However, However, if we're in the air and we press up again, whoa, we get that little double jump feature, a little nifty double jump there. And uh, this is very easy to implement and uh, overall a very great system to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and head over to Game Maker and see how it all works. All right, so we're inside Game Maker now and uh, let me go and close this. All right, so um, we have our simple room with obviously our two objects that we're going to be using in this tutorial, um, our player and our collision blocks. As you can see, our collision blocks are just sprawled out there with our player like smack dab in the middle. And uh, I'm going to go and quickly just go over on the sprites really quick. So this player is just a simple 32 by 32 uh, sprite, nothing fancy going on there. And same thing for the collision, uh, just simple 32 by 32 black block. I always like to go over the sprites just in case people are curious about them. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and head over to the objects of the sprites when we just went over. Um, starting with actually the collision because this one's very simple. Um, it's just a simple solid block with the collision sprite. And uh, nothing more than that. Now the OBJ underscore player is relatively the same um, in terms that we have the same exact sprite um, for the player over here. And it's kind of like corresponding with one another. Now what we want to do on the events end of this is we want to start off with a create event. And uh, have it at the control tab and click and drag over a code block. Now in this code block, what we wanted to do is uh, type out D jump equals zero. Now D jump is standing for double jump. I'm sure some of you have caught on to that already, but just in case you guys are curious, that's what it stands for. You can of course rename it if you want to, um, but for these tutorial purposes, I'm just going to keep it D jump for now. And uh, we'll get to what it does in just a little bit here. But let's go ahead and head over to the step event and same thing, code block. Um, now in here, we're just setting some simple gravity. Gravity underscore direction equals 270, which is the down direction in Game Maker, and uh, gravity equals zero. 0.5. That's the force of the gravity, how strong the gravity is actually going to be. And if you already have a gravity system of your own, you don't really need to do this. Just, you know, my own gravity system for tutorial purposes. Now, the uh, collision with the OBJ underscore collision, again, more code, <laughs> as you probably would have guessed by now. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in here we have move, move underscore contact, geez, uh, underscore solid, direction, uh, comma, 12. That's pretty much just sending. Um, along with the V-speed equals zero, uh, setting up the collision so our player doesn't fall through the ground when he you know, lands on it. Um, however, you'll notice that we have this D jump equals zero variable popping up again, and we'll kind of get into what this is exactly doing in just a sec when I show the next event here, which is the key press up event, and this is also the final event, so I told you guys it's fairly easy. So in here we have if D jump is smaller than two, then uh, start a block D jump plus equals one. There's that D jump variable again, and V-speed equals equals minus 10. And I'm actually going to go, actually, no, never mind. I was going to say, I'm going to move that over a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, of course, we have our end of block. Let me go ahead and move that up a little bit. There we go. For my own self, uh, self, whatever. <laughs> Just for my own preferences. So basically what the, all this is saying is if our D jump variable is less than 2, i.e. either 0 or 1, um, then we're going to be able to jump um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, at a V-speed of 10, so we're going to be able to go, like, to 10 V-speed, negative, whatever, um, however you guys want to go interpret that, and um, our D-jump variable is going to get 1 added to it, so the first time we jump, it's just going to equal 1, second time, 2, and obviously we can't jump anymore after that, so pretty much, that's how it works, then you get the end result, and yeah, so, enjoy! <laughs> 